It's September 20th. I'm in Omaru uh, on New Zealand's South Island. I gave my first talk last night in that hall you can see over there. Uh, exploring the, the theme of space-time. Um, looking at ways of really integrating those infinities into our everyday lives. And uh, this is largely a matter of scaling these down to, to manageable proportions. This is, you know, what we do when we create shelter. You know, we put, we put boundaries on, on infinite space and reduce it really to a human scale. And as far as time is concerned, it's by, you know, discerning the patterns of, of day and night and the waxing and waning of the moon and acknowledging the the cycle of the seasonal changes that we can integrate those into our homes and thereby come to the realization that you know we are one with space-time and you know really one with the universe this is i suppose an aspect of architectural design that is you know generally neglected and this is largely the reason why most modern buildings have a, you know, a dead feeling to them and don't have a lot of really meaning in terms of our everyday lives. Uh, the other thing I was exploring last night uh, was the notion of the common architectural heritage that we share. This would be what I would refer to as the architecture of the womb. And when we emerge from the womb into the outside world, uh, we essentially end the parasitic relationship that we have with our mothers who have provided us with you know, food, shelter, and uh, also recycle our, <laughs> our waste. Um, and unless we take conscious responsibility for those, you know, when we come into physical embodiment and we're born we can very very easily enter into a parasitic relationship with with mother earth and you know this appears to be largely what's happening in terms of you know humanity's relationship to the earth it, itself that it's a it's a parasitic one we're not consciously taking responsibility particularly for you know the waste that we uh, we produce if we consciously deal with that you know, particular issue, we can, you know, begin to live, you know, far more meaningful lives and come to the realization that we are, you know, one with nature and one with the universe. And, you know, then we can, we can consciously tune into, you know, our own life streams and, you know, get down to the serious work of, of you know, living the lives that we have been born to, to live. So, these are themes that I'll continue to explore, you know, particularly that one of the, you know, the common architectural heritage of the room. Uh, so tonight we're heading north to Christchurch, and then tomorrow the equinox, we're heading for the North Island, where we'll be giving some more talks and workshops and, you know, continue to explore these mysteries. All right, take care. Bye.